they Boogie, you. Boogie, nobody is here to see you. Let's go get food. They won't know you're gone. You want to go? <laughs> yes, let's go. You want to go 30 minutes early? Yes. Early 30 minutes early? Yes. Well, let's go. You ready? Yes. You want to help me pack? Do you want to help me pack? Help me pack. Come back Wait, later. Help me pack. Wait. <laughs> help me pack. It is day two in Houston, Texas, and we are on our way to the Olive Oil Convention. Olive oil? What the hell does that even mean? Because uh, it's extra virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Hey, you like that? Come on. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. We are on our way to Retro Palooza, where people are going to be dressed up like characters. Honest to God, I'm not, and I'm not kidding, hand to God, when we're sitting in the lobby of the hotel, I saw a chick walk by dressed like strawberry shortcake. Yep, that sounds about right. Yeah. I have never been to a convention before, you guys. I don't know what to expect. Oh, God, you're about to pop your, you're about, you're about to pop your nerd convention cherry, huh? Okay, here, let me go ahead and tell you what I expect of these things. All right, number one, my favorite thing is I get to expect, and you'll get to expect it too, all your fans, they're going to love you, and they're going to care about you, and there's going to be some relatively mentally normal healthy people there okay and then also there's Wait, gonna be some some yeah we are rolling up right now you guys at the pasadena convention center where boogie gets to nerd the f out dude. oh best day ever mike i'm telling you something you you tell you're acting like now like you're not part of this like you're not above this there is a booth that's at this convention every year that has horror stuff Okay, last year I saw a jacket from Friday the 13th signed oh. by Jason Voorhees, okay? I thought you said whole stuff. Not what I wish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other convention. You ever been to that one? Oh, God, I wish. Let's go together. Let's go right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at this. Look at the price of these t shirts. So, yeah, it's like five bucks. It's five Great. bucks. Five bucks. Fat guy's ten bucks. We have double price for the fat shirt. More material. Yeah, but here's the cool thing about it, though. If you think about it, um, if you're like a really broke nerd and you need clothes, five bucks for a shirt's pretty good. <laughs> no matter what it says on it. Whoa. Oh, you're fantastic, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. <laughs> shook my camera. Dude, if there was a glass of water on the table, we'd have seen on Jurassic Park. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Nice you, What's your name? Uh, Ray. Nice to meet yeah, you, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Boogie's line is finally depleted. There was like 20, 30, 40 people here. It's finally empty. Now I'm going to troll him. I'm going to take a picture with nobody here and tell the internet that nobody showed up to see Boogie. You ready to get something to eat? Yeah, I'm starving, dude. Okay, I got a surprise for you. What? You know how you kidnap me and you kind of ruin my trip and all this? All right. I think it makes your trip better, but... All right, I'm about to tweet this. What? That nobody... Dude, it looks like nobody's at my booth. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just signed for four hours. Are you joking? <laughs> Dude, I had a packed pen. Don't tweet that, Michael. Don't. <laughs> Michael, you're going to think I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> you tweeted that. It's your new meme. No. Boogie is walking through the convention with lunch. Finally, firehouse subs. I'm not a huge fan, but at this point, I would eat a dead, bloated cow corpse. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I haven't had food since 9 a.m. Listen, if you're hungry, I got DoorDash if it sucks. Yeah, okay, good. We, I will DoorDash us some good food. Dude, get some of that more barbecue. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. Let's open this up. We have salad. Oh. <laughs> bowl of onion. Is this what? a joke? What, what am I gonna do with a bowl of onion, Mike? Ugh. Eat it. Try it, Mike. A bowl of tomatoes? Boy, what's going on? Do they? Is this? Are they telling me I'm fat, Mike? <laughs> is this a thing? <laughs> okay. Call Uber Eats right now. <laughs> Get literally anything. I was supposed to die the last two weeks before the fight, not three. Uh, I'm vacation. <laughs> Bowl of un. Oh, hold on. Okay. What is this? What is this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Technically, it's food. <laughs> Hi, get behind the camera here. And today, we're eating a salad. Hi, right, today, I got a big bowl full of onions. I've never had a bowl full of onions before, but today's the day. Here we go. Ah! 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 That's so bad. Why do I have a bowl full of onions? 
Why do I have a bowl full of onions? I don't like onions. I like sour candy. Okay, dude, honestly, let's just like go back to the hotel. Let's just go to the hotel. Mike, seriously. it's not that big of a deal. I missed an exit. It happened. You didn't dude. miss just an exit. You missed it like six or seven times. All right, this is my third time trying to get the exit. Here's the thing, Mike. We're going to get it. Third time's a charm. Guys, I, this isn't a bit. This isn't a joke. Boogie keeps missing the exit to go get dinner. And it's like, seriously, let's just go home. Let's go to the hotel. No, got, it's going to be more driving I'm freaking out, there. dude. I'm Don't fre freak out. We're only nine minutes away. Six minutes away. Dude, okay? we were, we've been six minutes away like seven times now. I understand. This time is the final time, Mike. We're still going to fry chicken. Pull over right dude, there. I don't give a If I have to drive through a church load of we're getting this fried chicken, Mike. Boogie, pull over right there, and we can Uber to the restaurant and then have the uber bring us back to your car like, i'm not gonna uber to my car mike that's you hear yourself do you hear yourself do you hear the words coming out of your face you're starting to freak me out oh god please tell us we're gonna make calm this. down you're freaking me out mike you're freaking me out mike you're freaking me out jesus christ mike i don't like houston anymore <laughs> i love houston i've been here a dozen times it's one of my favorite cities in the world now that you've come with me, I want it to burn to the ground. <laughs> For real, Mike, I used to love this city. Mike's like, Mike's like, oh, let's go downtown at a Saturday night at seven o'clock. It'll be easy, Boogie. And I'm like, no, Mike, do you have any idea what the traffic's gonna be like? And I'm like, no, I don't, because I've never driven a car. Let's go. And then I get down here with eight million cars, eight million cars, all driving topsy-turvy. And I, I make one mistake, and Mike's like, oh, you're a bad driver. But I, I could have driven us into a building at this point, okay? Oh my God. You don't think I have road anxiety? You don't think I'm so there's 9,000 cars driving all willy-nilly like this? Dude, we're going to get slammed. Where's the turn? 0 0.2. Are you paying hey, attention? I'm taking the turn, Mike. You navigate like a moron, too, by the way. I love you, Mike. I genuinely love you, okay? This isn't a bit, okay? But you know what the seat you're in is called? Do you know what it's called? I don't know what you're talking about. Do right you know now. what the seat in the passenger side of the car is called? The passenger. It's the navigator seat. I'm supposed to help you? You're supposed to read the map. You're supposed to look at the X's. You're supposed to say, that guy's coming this way. You're supposed to help, Mike. I can't read this map. Why? It's a map. Here's the exit, right here. I'm taking the <laughs> fucking exit, Mike. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God in heaven wept. The one thing I had over Keemstar is my hair. I'm going to pull it out by the time I take you to an airport. Good God. When Mike. Boogie missed the exit, like the, the time a few minutes ago, car started beeping the horn, guy was flipping us off, he was freaking out. I think he would have dragged you out of the car. I'm sure he could have tried, Mike. I can't get out of this car, he ain't getting me out. What are you, what are you talking about? I barely fit through the door. Okay, all I have to do is passive resistance. Okay, Boogie, don't forget. what? Mike, it auto drives. It doesn't! It's doing it right now. If Mike. it auto drives, how do we miss the turn so many times? It's not how that works. It's not a fucking Tesla from the future. It's a regular hybrid car, Mike. I want to be genuine with you. I know what you're about to do with this footage. What? You're going to edit it and you're going to upload it to make me look like the bad guy. Bro, I, I don't got to do anything to this footage. You look crazy. No, I'm it. not. I'm not crazy at all. I'm crazy because you drove me insane. You're going to do the same thing that my Jugger Nuggets did. You're gonna nettle me, nettle me, nettle me, nettle me, nettle me, troll me, troll me, troll me, criticize me, criticize me, criticize me, and then I'm finally like, hey Mike, I've had enough. What do you do? Turn on the camera. Turn on the camera. I document everything. Oh, except the part where you nettle me while I'm trying to drive at 90 miles an okay, hour I'm through 800 out. cars. Just drive the car. I'm gonna turn it off. Thank you. Oh, for God's sakes. Just got out of the car. Mercifully, we've gotten here in one piece, and Boogie is like texting crap talk about me right now. Yes, I am. What did I do to you? What did you do to me? Let's see what you did to me, Mike. I invited you on a fun vacation where you could meet a bunch of fans. First of all, you kidnapped me, okay? That's number one. I took you to the nicest barbecue food you've ever had in your life. I found I that place. I took you to one of the nicest cities in the world. I introduced you to all my friends. You wanted to go to McDonald's. All the time. You I wanted never to go. want to go to McDonald's again in my life. What are you talking about? I swear to God, guys, I'm actually thinking about Ubering from this place because he's scared. He can't drive. We might we'll okay. go to the aquarium after this or something. <laughs> what? If you Uber, we might go to the aquarium after this or something. 
There's a Ferris wheel right over there, Mike. If we get on that Ferris wheel, it's gonna go rolling into the city of Houston and kill people. Okay, you guys, this is chicken fried chicken. Dude, it looks legendary. Oh, look how tender. Oh my God. Is this what I've been failing to cook all these years? All right, me and my roommate cook fried pork chops once a week because this is my favorite meal besides steak. Here we go. Dude, are you going to wake up tomorrow? Dude, I don't think I'm going to wake up tonight. <laughs> I think I'm about to just sit in that car and die. And let me tell you something. I'm going to die with that cobbler chase in my mouth. What a way to go. You remember like an hour ago, I was like, let's go to the aquarium. Let's ride the Ferris wheel. And now that we've eaten dinner, I'm just like, let's just die. <laughs> I don't ever want to move again, Mike. <laughs> I don't even want to drive home. Are you serious? I would be okay with wrapping this car around a tree right now. Dude, I'm in it. Uh, that's okay. You got to die of something. May as well die a peach cobbler. <laughs> that chicken fried chicken? It made me question my whole reality. I think we are in a simulation. I told you it's the Matrix, Mike. There's no way chicken fried chicken can taste that good. Dude, Boogie's been doing this the entire trip. He's been like freaking out, talking about the Matrix. <laughs> Dude, M Mike, it's, uh, uh, Mike, I went on the mushroom trip and I realized that this is a simulation and that it's all bullshit. And Are you freaking out again? No, I'm just trying to explain it to you. I've tried to explain it to you a hundred times. It's like I'm talking Because it's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It makes sense. You're God. I'm God. We're God. Everything oh, is God. God. Dude, what is wrong with you? Nothing Bo is wrong with me. Everything is right with me. Everything is God. You're God. I'm God. We're God. Oh, my okay? God. Okay, we're, we're here to enjoy ourselves and that's what I've been doing. I've been enjoying myself. And every time you forget that, Mike, and you start taking stuff too serious, I want to drive my car into a tree. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you're enjoying yourself. I was until you came around. I will tell you this, Mike. I will tell you this, Mike. I will tell you this, Mike. I am ready. I want you to fly to London with me for this fight. What? Okay? Because I will knock wings out. If I talk to you for five minutes before that fight, my adrenaline will be pumping. Then I'll just pretend just his call face me. is your face and I'll knock it off his head. Just call me, dude. I'll, I'll... Oh, God, Mike, come to London. I don't have the money for it. <laughs> Mike, I have three cents to my name and I'm going to London. It's paid for. It, it doesn't matter. So who am I going to make this one out to? Uh, Drake. Can we go to the chicken place, dude? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, we can in a minute when the convention's over. And I'm oh, dude, this is the only guy for like six days, bro. What are you the talking about? The convention's over for you, Boogie. Okay, I'm sorry, it is. What, what are you talking about, man? I, I There's been nobody met... here for like two, three Mike, hours. people are actually going to believe that when they watch the video. Dude, there's nobody here to see. They're I'm gonna sorry to that. I, I, I've had literally fans are watching Come us on, right let's go. now. Seriously, let's go. Mike, I'm not. I haven't. That let, me have finish, any... let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay? okay? We got 30 more minutes. I'm uh, contractually obligated. Here you go, dude. I, I see you, man. Thank you. All right, let's Mike, go. Mike, seriously, here's the thing let's about go, this, okay? Go. People believe your vlogs are entirely Nobody. real. They, okay? And they think that I'm literally here and I'm. I, 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 are you I, freaking I, I out? Yes or no? Down. Is this real or is this fake? You're freaking out. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not freaking out, Mike, but it's just you keep making me look dude, fake. Did, did you see anybody here to see Boogie at all? I've been waiting a while. It's just me. <laughs> it's just him, dude. Why, why would you do that, dude? I've known. I've met he, you three different retropaloozas. I've met you three different retropaloozas. We've hung out everywhere. You've stayed in line for thirty minutes at a time. He They're going to believe that. Who was They're he standing behind? I thought you were a fan. There was nobody here to Dude, see. Dude, I thought you were a fan. Boogie, Boogie, nobody is here to see you. Let's go get food. They won't know you're gone. You want to go? <laughs> yes. Let's go. You want to go. go thirty minutes early? Yes. Or at least thirty minutes early. Yes. Well, let's go. You ready? Yes. You want to help me pack? Do you want to help me pack? Help me pack. Come back Wait, later. Help me pack. Wait. <laughs> Help me pack! Dude, Boogie, seriously. What? Kids are picking up your table right now, bro. Yeah, because I have fans, Mike. They don't These know who are you are. Fans. They've never seen your video. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> Tell them Boogie. who I am. Boogie. I'm Boogie. Hey, man. What? We got to go pick that stuff up, dude. Stop following me, Mike. Boogie. Mike, I There's need a chill break, Mike. There are children picking up your table. Mike, they can have it. They can have it, okay? It's just pins and cardboard, okay? They can have it, Mike. I'm more. I'm not they can about have it. it. I don't need it anymore. I don't care. Okay. The only thing that matters is I get away from you right now. What did I do? I don't know, Mike. 
I don't know, maybe it's because you needle me constantly, maybe because you're constantly shoving a okay, camera you in my face. But ever me since me. you showed up, ever since you showed up, I didn't show my up. brain doesn't work, Mike. My brain doesn't work, Mike! I need to get away from you to see you fix my brain. I thought I had it fixed, Mike. I thought I had it fixed, Mike. And then you showed up. I didn't show up. Shut up. You like forced me to come to this, Boogie. Oh I'm just trying God. to, like, have oh, you didn't show up. You didn't knock on my front door at 3 a.m. You didn't show up in my house. You didn't wake me up in the middle of the night. You didn't wake me up in my own bed. You didn't. Would I, you stop walking away? What else did you do? What else did you do? I didn't do anything to you. You kidnapped Something's me. Something's wrong. You Something's wrong with you. And it's your fault. It's your fault. I haven't been like this in years. This is the worst I've ever been. My brain has crumbled like fucking overuse. Okay, Boogie, I love you. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to take your medicine, man. I loved you, Mike. I can't find it, Mike. I don't know where it is. I thought maybe I left it home. I called my roommate. He checked. I called the pharmacy. I tried to get a refill. I don't, I, it's not in my bags. It's not in my pocket. Mike, I can't take my meds. I would love to, Mike. Can we go get chicken you. now? I'm getting chicken. I'm coming with you. I'm getting Boogie, chicken. Boogie, let's go help the kids pick up your crap. You want to leave it all in there? Yes, they can have it, Mike. Kids like stuff. Kids like little art pins, and they can have my, I don't care, Mike. As long, Mike, as long as I get away from you, man. I, I, I just need a break. How do I get back to the hotel? Uber! Or maybe walk your fat 